It's the ultimate question, but it's also an impossible task. We could find signs of life, but it's not going to be the definitive proof that we were hoping for when we started out on this journey. So says Professor Sarah Seeger of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the pioneering planetary scientist, author of The Smallest Lights in the Universe and one of the main characters in director Nathaniel Kahn's intriguing new documentary, The Hunt for Planet B previewed recently at the 2021 South by Southwest Film Festival, this impressive film explores the development of the science of exoplanets, planets around other stars, and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI. It does so against the backdrop of the upcoming launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST or, Webb, the much-delayed $10 billion space telescope that's due to launch on October 31, 2021. You can't go a week without an exoplanet making the news, whether it's a rocky world with tantalizing parallels to Earth, a super-Earth, with a day that lasts forever or the discovery of a planet around the star that was the source of the alien signal in the movie Contact. The hunt for Planet B is the human story. It reveals a world of thinkers, dreamers and doers that dare to imagine what's out there on exoplanets, defined as a planet outside the solar system, and who build machines to find out more that take entire careers to complete. It's a story about dedication and collective effort over a long time period that's largely for the benefit of the next generation of scientists. It's got a stirring relevance to the global inaction on climate change. Astronomy? Really? That's just a bunch of old white men, right? Astronomy is dominated by men. In fact, few fields have a greater gender imbalance. However, in the sub-genre of exoplanets, which was a super niche at the turn of the century yet has arguably come to dominate astronomy in recent years, that's not the case, the documentary suggests. Seeger, an expert on the atmospheres of exoplanets, has helped shape a new discipline within astronomy and hopes to use Webb to further push the boundaries. One of its first tasks will be to investigate, super-Earths. These planets are two to three times the size of Earth and they appear to be the most common type of planet in our galaxy, says Seeger. We don't know what they're made of, we don't know how they formed and we don't know how why there's so many of them. Webb can observe their atmospheres very easily and we hope that will help inform us about what the planets are made of. Whether we're alone as a species is a different question that Webb will struggle to answer, but the hunt for Planet B makes it clear that Seeger is not alone.